Welcome to Car Talk. This is not talking about cars. This is talking inside of a car. Today's topic is about following your intuition. One of the quickest, easiest ways to determine whether uh, your, your scale, your, your level as an entrepreneur is the success you have by following your intuition. And I know that even the best people, their intuition is wrong sometimes, their gut feeling, following your gut. Uh, but the ones that are good are right enough that it far overshadows the times that they're wrong. And I have been fortunate enough to be right following my gut enough. And uh, it allows me to be where I'm at and know I'm going to be wrong sometimes. But I also know that if I follow my intuition, in the big picture, it leaves me in a... Uh, in a productive kind of place. Like yesterday, I had to, uh, I wanted to increase Ben's hours because my intuition said that it's gonna far outweigh the uh, the cost of having him here longer if I have like the increased sales and experience and revenue and all that will, will far exceed it. And that's what my intuition says, so I make that choice and I go with it. I know that everyone has that flexibility because there's always various constraints in life, uh, things that when you when you push one way, they gotta pull another way, kind of thing. Uh, like, so you have to be aware of that, and you have to balance that. But at the same time, you have to be able to follow your gut. Now, if you follow your gut and you're wrong uh, consistently, then maybe you have to rethink if being an entrepreneur is for you. If you follow your gut and you're right a lot, then maybe being an entrepreneur is right for you. So you have to use that. It's an easy, it's an easy gauge, an easy basic thing. To, uh, to know, and everyone is wrong sometimes. I did a video yesterday, the car talk, that everyone's wrong sometimes. Uh, everyone's gonna fail sometimes, no matter how you do it, and you have to pick yourself up. But today, on that same theme, is that you need to be right more than you're wrong. At least in the, maybe not the, uh, not the numbers of uh, if you're right four times and you're wrong one time, or you're wrong four times and right one time, which is a little more my pattern, but the one out of five times that I'm right, the the return on that one time is far greater than the losses on the other four times. So if that's for me, that works out really well that way, knowing that I'm gonna be wrong several times in a row, but when I get the one that's right, it really pays off 10 times over for the four that have been wrong before. Now some people are right every time, and they're the extreme winners, the people that are out of my class of that kind of intuition. And some people are extreme losers and they're wrong all the time. That's just how life goes. But you can look at your intuition. If you're right a lot, entrepreneurship could be good for you. If you're wrong a lot, entrepreneurship might not be right for you because as an entrepreneur, you don't have a whole lot of people to answer to. You mostly just get to make decisions based on your instinct. And people, money, your own household, your kids, food, all these things are dependent on your intuition and your ability to execute on your intuition. So you have to think about that depending on what path you want to go down, if you want to change paths or stay on the path you're on, however you want to cut it, your intuition is, is extremely important in being a successful entrepreneur. Car Talk, Tyler Douthit.